Sturgeon slammed for making a mockery of UK by launching oil pipeline after COP26. Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon is under fire from environmental groups after an oil pipeline was given the green light just months after hosting COP26. The Oil and Gas Authority, OGA, has given the green light to a new oil and gas project in the North Sea, just months after the UK hosted the COP26 Climate Change Summit. The government has claimed that the Abigail oil field, which is going to be developed by an Israeli company called Ithaca Energy, will have no significant effect on the environment. Even though the oil field's reserves are relatively small, this move has sparked a backlash as climate groups criticize Ms. Sturgeon for not putting up more of a fight. Oil Change International, a global climate campaign group slammed Ms. Sturgeon, describing it as a mockery of the UK's pledge to keep 1.5 degrees Celsius alive, and asking her, if Cambo wasnt OK, why is Abigail? Cambo, which is one of the UK's largest undeveloped offshore oil fields and lies in Scotland, was set to be developed until its lead developer Shell pulled out of the project in December after facing backlash from environmentalists. In November, as COP26 ended in Glasgow, Moose Sturgeon took a strong stance against the proposed development, saying, I don't think that Cambo should get the green light. Tessa Khan, director of Uplift, a campaign group working towards a fossil fuel-free UK, said. Why is the government sanctioning an oil and gas development that will see little to no benefit for UK energy customers or taxpayers? Which only worsens the climate crisis, and where the only winners are the oil firm behind the project. A serious response from the government to both unaffordable energy bills and the climate crisis, would see all this investment steered into cheaper UK renewables. The government needs to stop rolling over for the oil and gas industry, stop dishing out licenses, and get on with making sure people have access to affordable, renewable energy. However, the operations director of the OGA refuted these claims, saying that oil and gas will continue to be part of the energy mix for decades to come. As the country gradually transitions away from fossil fuels and into renewable energy.